In this video, I want to quickly cover how you can use CPP check to look for potential memory problems with your code. Now, CPP check will work with C and C. It'll be up to you to figure out how to install it. If you have Sigwin, you should be able to just install it from the Sigwin installer. And then from a Linux distribution, the commands to do that are listed on the CPP check homepage, and there'll be a link to that on Canvas. One of the concerns sometimes that show up is if you don't have access to the particular repository where CPP check is stored, sometimes the installer doesn't work. Unfortunately, in that case, you'll just have to look for your particular system. If you do a Google search, it's common enough. You should be able to resolve any installation issues you have. So here I have a file that has all sorts of memory problems with it. So first off, I'm not really using any of these values, but that's no big deal. But then I use this pointer without ever really initializing it, and that's a big no-no. And then I'm accessing array index 100, and there's only 10. So there's definitely some problems here. So if I type CPP check, enable equals all, and then badmemory.c is the name of this file, you can see this says array 10 is accessed at index 100, which is out of bounds. It gives me the line number, which is line 6. So that's right here. I have an uninitialized variable pointer right here. Here. I have a case where it tell me that this is assigned a value that's never used. That may or may not be a bug, but at the very least, it means I have code that's not being used. Now, of course, I have other problems here that are even worse issues, and that being the fact that this index is wrong. But even if the index was correct, I'm assigning it and never using it. And again, usually that sort of thing is indicative of a bug. I have some code, but then I never actually make use of what that code does. You don't have to resolve every possible CPP check error. And you can also check everything by saying, check all my C files like that. I only have the one C file here. Treat these as hints for the most part. The errors, of course, are going to be ones that you almost always are going to want to try to figure out. In these two cases, the errors are definitely terrible things. The style things may or may not be real issues. But again, if you can get all the issues resolved, it's usually better. You sometimes will also get issues with your print statements. Those you don't always have to resolve. As long as you're getting good output, you can typically just ignore the ones from print statements. So here's an example of using CPP check. It's a static analyzer for C and C++. I definitely recommend on your project you run this early and often on your code just to make sure you're not doing anything incorrectly. There's also a Windows GUI version of CPP check. And if you install that on your Windows box, you can load a file. The way to do that is don't click file, you'll click analyze, and then you'll select your files. So here's my bad memory.c file that we saw before. And if I click here, you can see it'll tell you all the errors that it found. You'll see that these are the same errors. One thing that's nice here is that you can definitely see the difference between errors and then styles, and then also there'll be warnings in some cases. So again, another option for you and I can't recommend enough, especially with your project, running this consistently just to be sure that you're on the right track, that you're not doing anything wrong. Now, if your code isn't complete, you may have errors. But if you run this on a consistent basis, you can prevent yourself from going down a wrong path where you're not using memory correctly. 